Welcome back to the ARK Survival Guide. The ARK Summer Bash 2020 event is finally here. From June 25th until July 14th, we can all enjoy this really fun summer event where we get these awesome new weapon skins, really cool new chibi dinosaurs, some great fashion items including customizable sunglasses, which is pretty fun, and some brand new emotes so you can rock this summer event. We also have new stuff like the squirt gun that sprays fire instead of water and rocket launchers that shoot fireworks because everything in ARK has to be either ridiculous, awesome, or ridiculously awesome. In this Summer Bash event guide, I'm going to show you guys how to craft every event item in the entire event and I will showcase every new weapon and fashion item you can get, all the new chibis, and some of the cool new event candies and dino colors we're going to get. And if you watch this event guide until the very end, I'll show you a crazy trick that lets you get raw prime meat from dodos and listrosaurs, which will make it much easier to collect everything you need for this summer event. And we'll wrap up the guide with a festive fireworks display. So if you find this guide helpful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to enable all notifications because we are always coming out with new helpful guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays on this channel, and you won't want to miss any of those fun and helpful videos. So let's get started with our 2020 Summer Bash. So the first thing we need to know about the ARK Summer Bash 2020 event is that it goes from June 25th until July 14th, and we'll be able to tell the event is active when we craft a cooking pot and open up its inventory. We should actually be able to see a holiday folder inside the cooking pot inventory, and within that holiday folder we've got all the recipes for all of the event items for the Summer Bash event. Now, since it's summer and we've got a nice little barbecue theme going on, just to about everything we need to craft all of these items is going to be some form of cooked meat. So we'll be grilling out lots of meat. We're going to need lots of meat for all of these items. Now there's some items from past events and we've actually got several really cool new items during this event. Now just about everything you need to cook as far as cooked meat can be cooked in a cooking fire, but it's only got two slots in its inventory. Now if you want to do this really fast, you can make an industrial grill which is powered by gasoline instead of wood. Once you put the gas in there, you can light it up just like any regular fire, and we can cook up to 50 items at the same time. So if we're killing some big dinos, getting lots of meat, you can cook it up really fast, and that's probably going to be your best bet. Now over here, I'm going to show you how to actually craft the jerky, because a lot of these items need prime meat jerky and regular meat jerky. So in order to do that, we have to first craft a preserving bin, which you can see right right here. It's a relatively low level item. Not a ton of people use these, but it actually extends the preserving time of stuff so it doesn't spoil as fast as long as it has spark powder in its inventory. But we can actually craft jerky as long as we put cooked meat or cooked prime meat, or preferably both, in its inventory. It extends their spoil times while it's in here as long as that spark powder is there. But if we also add oil, just raw oil like you get from the bottom of the ocean, then that will cook this and over the course of the next hour or so, I think it takes at least an hour to make this, it will turn into cooked meat jerky and cooked prime meat jerky over time. And that's what we're gonna be using for a lot of these items. So once we get all the meat we need for a particular item, we'll just open up the holiday folder, make sure it's got wood or thatch to burn, light the fire, and then we can put that meat in there and craft out whatever items we want, just like we're crafting in a smithy. Now I'll show you guys a really easy trick to get piles and piles of prime meat very quickly and safely without killing anything dangerous. So watch the guide until the end to get to that. But first we'll go over some of the really cool new emotes and items you can get during the Summer Bash 2020 event. 
Now, one of the funnest things you can get during the Summer Bash 2020 event is these really cool new emotes, and we've actually got the old emotes from 2019 that are still available too. Now, the emotes are actually an item that you can craft in the cooking pot, and once you've crafted that item, you can consume it just like you're eating something, and that will permanently unlock that emote for your character. So even if you die, you've still got the emote, and I think it may actually transfer with you between different game saves. Let me know in the comments if you guys happen to be able to confirm that. So once I've learned all these emotes I just crafted up, we'll go ahead and showcase all of them. And since they take a lot of materials to craft these emotes, you can make sure you get your favorites during the event before it's over. So for those who don't know this already, we're going to open up the whistle commands and go to play emotes. And we've got all of the new emotes here on this little section. So the first emote we got from last year is the bicep smooch. Makes really great for uh, flexing and showing off your awesome muscles. Oh yeah. So uh, the next one we've got is uh, this new archer flex. Also great for showing off how buff you are. See, even cooler if you don't have a shirt on, right? The air drums is actually brand new and it gives you your own theme music. So, uh, you know, if you want to show off how really awesome you are, that's a great way to do it. Yep. And uh, then we also have the air guitar totally rocking out here. But once again, you know, you get your own theme song while you're playing. So it doesn't get much cooler than that, right? And the last emote is the Mosh emote, which is probably my favorite. Great for rocking on and uh, celebrating your great victories during ARC. Because it's not a summer party if you can't rock on, right? So now that you've seen the ARC Summer Bash 2020 emotes, let's talk about some of the cool weapon and item skins you can get during this event. So now let's talk about some of the really cool weapon and item skins you can get during the Summer Bash 2020 event. So there's actually a lot of really cool new weapons that we've got, and uh, this is a super soaker. But uh, instead of dowsing things with water, we're going to be dowsing them in flames. You can see that little fire icon on the side of this, and that's because it is actually a flamethrower skin. So if you craft a flamethrower, you can apply this skin to it, and... Uh, Makes you look really festive while you're torching all of your enemies, right? But uh, I gotta say, that's a pretty cool little item you can get. I, I personally love that. Now, we're also going to show you guys some of the cool weapon skins from past events, like this flare gun right here. And uh, it's very similar to the original flare gun. doesn't look any different, but when you fire it off, it does the usual flare thing, but it also shoots off a firework display. Now, I'm going to show you a full firework display later on when it's nighttime, but first let's show you this patriotic rocket launcher, which now shoots fireworks. Now another cool thing about these weapon skins is if you've got something like that flare gun, you can craft a bunch of flare guns, but use one skin on the entire stack. So I fired off one of my flare guns, used it up, but I've still got the skin on there, which is cool. Now this I love, this is a frisbee skin for the boomerang. Now if you use the regular fire, you will just attack stuff with it. So you can beat people down with a frisbee, which is still pretty fun, but the alternate fire throws it and it will actually come back to you. So, I mean, I'm not that skilled with frisbees myself, but this is pretty fun. So you can actually do your own frisbee toss and it'll come right back. Yeah. So that's actually a really fun thing you can use to uh, have fun in the sun during the Summer Bash event, but you can also use it for knocking out enemy dinos using the regular attack, or if you throw things and hit it, it'll knock them out, which is pretty cool. And then our last item is great for when dinos and other players mess up your grill grilling activities, you can defend the grill with this new spatula skin, which is actually a skin for the wooden club. So you can knock people unconscious with a spatula, and I mean, you know, I, it's probably pretty tempting for those of you guys who have grilled out and people are always uh, asking you when you're going to be done cooking, right? So the last skin we've got is actually for a torch, for one of the torches you hold in your hand, and that is the Sparkler Torch. So uh, also great for parties and rocking out, but it makes your torch look way cooler while you're lighting up the night. So now we'll show you some of the new fashion items with the Summer 2020 event. 
So now let's talk about some of the fun new summer event fashion items we've got. And uh, we'll start with this top hat that I'm wearing. This is the Uncle Sam hat. And as you can see behind me, my Raptor is actually wearing one of those too. So this is actually a skin that is for your hat, but there's another one that's a saddle skin. You gotta be careful you don't make the wrong one. We've also got the gas bag shirt, which as you can see, those are not beach balls. Those are actually gas bags. I love it. And then we have the floral swim bottom. So the hat and the bottoms are actually from last year and if you're a male you get the swimming trunks and if you're a female you actually have bikini tops and bottoms so now I'll model the new ice pop print shirt which is pretty cool looking and uh, we've also got the giga poop shorts right there you can see and then I'll show you the sunglasses skin now this is actually pretty cool because we can change the colors of the lenses and customize the tint which is pretty awesome looking once you do it so I'll show you how to do that in just a minute but first of all I thought I'd let you guys see the finished product here pretty stylish sunglasses and as you can see they have red rims and a purple and orange tint to the actual shades. So next we've got the T-Rex bottoms and the Bulldog top, which, uh, you know, very sunny looking Bulldogs here. Very good summer theme. And after that, we're going to show you guys the Alpha Raptor bottoms and then the Sea Life print shirt. So those are going to be uh, some of my favorites, actually. I love this Sea Life one. And the Alpha Raptors are pretty cool looking, too. And of course, it wouldn't be summer fun without it starting to suddenly rain out of nowhere. I live in Florida, and this happens basically every day during the summer and then it clears up in like 20 minutes and it's as if it never rained so let me fix that and I'll be right back Okay, that is so much better. So next up, we have the Crab Fest swim bottoms. And, uh, you know, those are actually not lobsters. Those are sea scorpions, which apparently taste just like lobsters, right? I don't know. I used to live in Viking Bay on my Ragnarok series, and I ate those things all the time because they were trying to eat me all the time. So the next ones are the Fish Bite swim bottoms, which, uh, you know, nice little aquarium theme going on here. And last but not least, we have the Ichthy Isles swim bottom skin. And you know, got these nice little dolphins all over the place. Really like the dolphin motif. So that's all of our swimwear we have. Now, this is actually an interesting thing. So uh, there's a corresponding bikini top for all the females, but any of the bikini top ones that you use on a male just makes you shirtless. So you can take something like this flak armor, put the bikini top skin on it, and then you can actually look like you're not wearing anything at all. And uh, right now I've got flak armor on. I have a hundred armor on my character and I look like I'm just running around in swimming trunks. And if we remove our pants, it looks like we've got no armor whatsoever, but we've actually got a hundred armor from that flak vest. Now, if you're new to weapon and item skins, just so you know, you make the skin and then you drag it onto a corresponding item that it'll work with. Like, for example, these sunglasses, we drag it onto a cloth hat, and then we've got our sunglasses, so looking styling, right? Now, these sunglasses are just regular black sunglasses, but we can actually dye them using multicolored dyes. So I'm going to drag the dye onto the sunglasses, and if I click the dye and set the region, I can dye certain regions. Now, region 1 doesn't look like it's changing the color on anything, but that's actually the color of the lenses. The lenses have two color regions, and that's going to fade between the two colors. And as you can see here, region 5 also doesn't show anything, so that's the other lens color. Now, uh, let's see here. I'm going to make the part of the lens red, part of the lens blue, and that's going to fade between those two colors. Now, I can also dye the rims and then dye the little bridge in the center here. And we'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you guys what the result looks like. But I did want to show you that. It's kind of cool that we can use dyes to actually customize our sunglasses, and we can make them look really styling. Pretty cool, right? Now, if you're not familiar with dyes or painting or any of that stuff, I've got a guide on how to make and use dye with a uh, very famous painter that you might be familiar with. So uh, we have a special guest on that episode, and I will put a link to that in the description. So be sure to check that out. I think you guys will really like that. But if you want your dinos to look awesome colors without dyeing or painting them, we've got another solution using these festive dino candies that I'll show you next. 
So if we want to make our dinosaurs look super patriotic too, most of the dinos have a saddle skin which we can use for this patriotic hat, and you can make all your dinos look really festive that way. And as you can see here, we've got this Uncle Sam hat which is a skin for the dinosaur saddle. And once again, if you're new to skins, it's something you can right click and remove or apply to any of their dino saddles, and most of the dinos will actually wear that hat. Now another great way to make Make them look really awesome and festive with uh, out actually painting them is to use these summer swirl taffies on them and if you feed them a taffy they'll get all kinds of crazy random colors you can actually see which colors they're gonna be on the taffy itself and I thought I'd show you with this tropiognathus because they look so awesome with different color patterns already so uh, once we've used that in their inventory it's just like force feeding them anything in their inventory it actually gives them a pretty good speed boost and and there are different levels of quality for the candy. The higher the level, the better their speed boost. And these candies actually give them a buff for quite a while and make them look really cool at the same time. Now the last of these summer bash event items I'll show you guys are these chibi dinos and you can actually make the chibis in the cooking pot just like usual and we've got several new ones for this event and also as you can see they've added a feature which gives them different colors so green is the lowest quality then blue then purple and then yellow is the highest quality and that means the yellow ones are going to be the most rare least common ones you can find and the greens will be the easiest to get so that's a new thing that'll be a little easier to tell what you're getting. Now this is the Ammonite which is pretty cool. I think it actually looks just about normal but uh, I love these water chibis because they have these cool little bubble effects and they just kind of float in the air. So that's actually a really cool new pet and I'll try to zoom a little bit so you can see these better. So we're going to show you each of the new chibis that were recently added. So uh, the next one is the Chibi Nidaria and this is actually one one of my favorite chibi pets because these things just look awesome. They also glow in the dark which I think is really cool and I'll show you that on the uh, end of this video. Once we finish showing you guys these chibis and a couple other quick things we're gonna do some fireworks in the evening which will be pretty fun. So next up we've got the chibi plesiosaur or plesiosaur. I'm not 100% sure on the pronunciation there and we've also got a new chibi manta so love these little guys but uh, his head is is pretty weird. I mean, it's a little just, I don't know. It's not quite right, I think, but you know, whatever. The next one I am really excited about is the Astrocetus, and this is a really cool looking chibi. They actually remind me of a cuttlefish, to tell you the truth, but they're pretty fun. It's like a little whale pet that follows you around. A little squished like a potato, but that's all right. And I also never got a chance to show you guys this, but this is the new Chibi Tropiognathus, which has actually been with us ever since the uh, birthday event, but you can still get it in this event too. And I thought I'd show you guys, if you get a chibi and you get a duplicate, they actually can come up with totally different color patterns too. So collecting multiple chibis will still give you different random colors from ones you can find in the wild, so that's kind of fun. So that's all the new chibi pets that just came out with the Summer Bash event for 2020. And now I'll show you guys a really awesome trick that lets you get tons of prime meat without killing anything dangerous. We're going to kill some dodos and listrosaurs and get prime meat from them. So be sure to watch this next part. It'll be really helpful. So now I'm going to give you guys a quick overview on an awesome trick that will let you get tons of prime meat really easily, and that actually revolves around having an ichthyornis, or seagull as a lot of people refer to these guys as. Now they're a really annoying wild dino that most people hate because they will steal and eat all of your food, but they are an amazing ally if you can actually manage to tame one without killing them. Now I have an entire guide on how to tame a seagull, and I have another whole guide on how to use a seagull to fish really effectively to get prime fish meat, prime meat, and all kinds of other amazing things you can do with a seagull. But right now I'll just give you a quick overview on how to do this. So after you've got a tame seagull, you're going to make sure you've set his options to hunt and retrieve, which is really important. You also need to make sure that the server settings allow for flyers to carry things in PVE. We're also going to add him to his own whistle group 
group so our other dinos don't come around when we're telling him to whistle and attack stuff. And now that we've tossed him off our shoulder, we're going to have him follow us and get up into the air. Sometimes he needs to be flying, uh, just he, they can be a little glitchy sometimes if they're not flying. So what we're going to do is find a dodo or listrosaur and we're going to tap the attack target whistle and that is the period or slash key on the keyboard if you're playing on PC and you hold down the top left bumper and press down or up on the D-pad if you're playing on console and that will whistle for him to attack one of these smaller dinos. Once he picks it up he'll start killing it and as long as you've got that fly or carry enabled on PvE he will turn it to this little glow and carry it back to you. Once he's done that, he actually gave this thing a buff that allows it to drop raw prime meat. Now, Lister Swords and Dodos will never give you prime meat unless you use this trick, but this trick makes it so easy to get. The other thing I brought with me is a Carnotaur, and the reason I did that is because they actually have a really good, efficient prime meat gathering skill. So anytime a Carnotaur grabs meat, it's actually got a much better chance of getting prime meat than most dinos. So as you can see here, the seagull carried it back, the Carno ate it, and we got three prime meat out of one dodo, which is insane. That's about as much as you get on average T-Rex or Brontosaur kill. So we're going to go kill a bunch of dodos and just have the seagull bring them right back over to the Carno. And Carno will keep eating them, and then he'll get the maximum efficiency of getting prime meat from those dodos. So as you can see, we can very quickly get stacks of prime meat just killing a little flock of dodos, and they're very easy to kill this way. Now after we've killed a few dodos, we're gonna run it back to our preserving bin because there's only a couple minutes on the spoil time for prime meat, so you wanna get it cooked up on the fire as quickly as possible, then run back and grab some more prime meat. And compared to hunting down stuff in the wild, this is actually a very fast and efficient way to gather prime meat. An Argent Avis is actually very efficient too because you can fly on it and then use the Argent to harvest the dead dodos, and it has a pretty good prime meat gathering skill too. Well, that pretty much wraps up the guide portion of our Summer Bash 2020 event, but we'll end this video as any good Summer Bash event should end with lots of fireworks. We're here in the beautiful bioluminescent bay in the southwestern corner of the new Crystal Isles map, which is out on PC and hopefully coming out really soon for all of you guys who are playing ARC on console too. So the official release date, as far as I know, is still Summer 2020. I have not heard anything official saying it's going to be pushed back to September, although a lot of people have been saying that's a rumor that it will be. I'm still holding out for this coming out sometime in the next month or so for all of you console players, and if you have not had a chance to check out some of my Crystal Isles map tours and guides, you should definitely check that out if you have not played the Crystal Isles map yet, because it should make the wait much easier as I show you some really helpful resource locations, base locations, and all kinds of good stuff that'll help get you guys ready to play on the Crystal Isles map as soon as that comes out. And we have lots more guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays coming really soon, and I'm hoping to get a Let's Play Crystal Isles adventure going very soon, maybe in the next week or so, so make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications, because you won't want to miss any of those helpful and fun videos that are coming out soon. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so they can learn all about the new Summer Bash 2020 event. And if you have any friends that have gaming people PCs who have not played ARK yet, it is now $10 on Steam and the Epic Game Store, so there's a huge Summer Bash sale going on, and a lot of the DLC is like $7 right now too, so definitely check that out if you haven't gotten all of the ARK DLC yet. There's some crazy sales going on, and you should definitely take advantage of those if you might enjoy ARK, or if any of your friends might. And I want to wish everybody a happy and safe 4th of July, no matter where where you live in the world, and we will see you in the next video. 
Thank you so much for watching this video from the ARK Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. That helps us so much. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots of awesome new ARK videos and live streams coming soon and you won't want to miss any of them. You can do so many awesome things in ARK, but it is really hard to figure out on your own. Check out the links at the end of this video to browse our huge library of fun, clean, and helpful ARC guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays. If you would like to earn awesome rewards while supporting this channel, click the join button or link next to the subscribe button to learn more about our new channel memberships. You can also join our awesome Discord community at the link in the description of this video or on top of the channel homepage. And if you want to see my wife and I play lots of other fun video games together, visit our other YouTube channel, The Console Co-op Couple, using the link in the video description or in the channel homepage. And now I want to give a shout out to some of the biggest supporters of this channel. Sabo0283, Cole Parmenter, Wolf Girl Be Like, Austin Nagel, Kelly Razjak, Black Silver Ride, and Emmy Fisher. You guys are all awesome and we so appreciate your support. Now if you'd like to be a monthly supporter and get a shout out at the end of our videos, check out the join button next to the subscribe button for more information about that. And for everyone else, thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.